Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so recently I got an iPad Pro and one of the first things I wanted to do was to get an Apple Pencil. Um, this one here is the official Apple one. Um, you can see the little Apple logo there. This is my mum's, it's not mine, but I'm just borrowing it for this video. So you can see with the Apple Pencil, you don't need to pair anything, it just works with the iPad. If you whack it on top, it starts charging, you can see it there, and it's magnetic, so it latches to the top of the iPad. So it's pretty nice, um, but it is pretty expensive. So in the UK, it goes for about 120 quid. Um, and I went on Amazon to see what the best deals were, and I stumbled across this. It's the Stylus Pen Super Fine Nib Active Capacitive. <laughs> um, so it's kind of a knockoff of the Apple Pen. Um, so you can see it's made in China. Um, it's got an on and off button, uh, whereas the Apple Pen, you don't need to turn on or off. Um, not much else that it says on the box, really. I think yeah, it just says the same thing everywhere. Um, but yeah, I thought I would give it a go, as the review seemed pretty good. But yeah, let's get it open. Oops, that's upside down. And I'll do it, I'll turn it around. So, as you open it, you've got a user manual. Uh, you've got a spare nib that just fell out. This looks like a, a cap for the pen as well. Um, you don't get that with the Apple Pencil. You get a yep USB Type C charging cable, which again you don't get the, the pencil, but you don't need to charge that. So I guess this means this has a USB C port. And then of course you got the pen itself. First impressions out the box, it does look pretty similar to the Apple Pencil. I mean, the obvious difference is you've got the USB C port here. But if you put them side by side, if you put them side by side, um, the knockoff is a little bit is a little bit longer. But other than that, they're pretty similar. Um, it's probably a bit lighter as well. Um, but yeah, let's give it. Let's have a look at the actual nibs. So both of them you can change the nibs on. So this is the actual Apple Pencil. I'm not sure if it's going to focus on that. So that's the actual Apple Pencil. This is the knockoff. Um, but yeah, they're both pretty similar. And yeah, they, they both have a pretty good feel in the hand. So I'll just get the user manual out, so we'll have to see what we have to do. Um, and so the top is a touch switch, two is a type C indicator, three is a button, four is the nib, that's it. Um, so it says it supports the 2018 iPads, uh, the iPad mini, the iPad Air, that's the iPad Air 3, the iPad Pro 11 inch, iPad Pro 12 inch and the 2019 iPad. Um, so it says 20 hours of use at full power with intelligent power cut. So it says how to use. Touch the top of the capacitor pen to turn it on and the indicator will turn, light will turn blue to start using it. So let's try that. Okay, so the light has gone blue there. Uh, Okay, so far it's doing absolutely nothing. Um, so it is on. Not sure what else there is to do. Don't think it's Bluetooth. Is it did say Bluetooth no? Um yeah. Stumbling block. This is the Apple Pencil. This is the knockoff. Uh, must be something I'm missing. Okay. So this might be it saying if you were connected with the Apple, original Apple Pencil, you have to disconnect. So let's try that. Okay, so straight, straight away it's starting to work now. 
Um, so that was my fault, not the pens. Um, so that's a little bit of a pain, but let's try it anyway. Um, you know what, I'm actually pretty impressed. So you can see, like, it's a little bit of a thicker line than the Apple Pencil. But... This is the test of the stylus. Let's draw a little face. It's you know there's you can see there's no noticeable lag. Um, it's pretty pretty fine print as well. The lines are pretty thin. Um, it's not as thin as the actual Apple Pen, um, but it, yeah, it works in all of the UI as well except for the gesture board. Um, you can open apps. Uh, yep, you can't do gestures, but you can't do that on the Apple Pen either. Um, I'm not really seeing a downside here at the moment. So, um, so I'm not an artist. I don't use this. I don't use a pen for drawing. It's mainly going to be for note taking for me. Um, so I'm going to just try it in a note taking app. Note shelf. Uh, let's get a note open. Uh, get the magnifier up. So this is what I like about note shelf. Oh, uh, let's turn that off. This is a test of the stylus. Um, so I've got to say, I'm actually really impressed with it. Um, it feels pretty. Cool. It feels pretty good quality. Like I said, compared to the Apple Pen, you'd be hard pressed to find the difference other than the actual Apple logo and obviously this one is a Type-C port um, so let me just put the Apple Pencil back on ok that's weird, now the Apple Pencil doesn't want to work there we go, so that's back on yeah, I mean there's not that much difference, I mean the Apple Pencil has um, pressure sensitivity, so you can see as I push down harder, it gets darker. Um, whereas this one, I don't think it has pressure sensitivity. Um, so let's try that again. Yeah, it's one, one or the other, um, but that's fine. Again, I'm not going to use this for drawing, so that's not a big deal for me. Um, yeah, if you're looking for just something like note taking, I mean, so this cost me thirty five pounds or thirty six pounds on the Amazon store. Um, I just turned it off there. That's a bit annoying that you can do that, but it's quite easy to turn back on. Um, so yeah, I mean, the cons of it, you have to charge it itself. It's got its own USB C port, but the good thing is it is USB C, so you can just use your iPad's charger for that. You or you can even charge it off the iPad. Um, it's got replaceable nibs, it comes with a spare nib in the box, so you've got those options. Um, obviously it doesn't attach magnetically to the, to the side of the iPad like the official one. But, you know, if you have a case like, so I've got, I'm using the Logitech, the Logitech case. This has a little holder for, for a pen, so that fits in fine. Um, so that's not an issue for me. Um, and yeah, I'd say if, if you know if you're just going to use this for note taking, um, then I'd say this is a pretty good pen. So I am happy with it. So I've, you know, I've saved myself eighty quid, um, and it's a pretty good pen. I suppose one other thing to mention, um, because it doesn't actually pair with the iPad. Um, you don't get any extra features. So I know the Apple Pencil, you can double tap on stuff. You can double tap on the pen to change the eraser, that kind of stuff. Um, but again, those are, those are kind of like convenience features, I guess, rather than um, anything essential to the operation of the pen. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I don't have Luma Fusion yet, so I can't really try it out in any video editing. Um, unless I've got, I don't think I've got anything in iMovie. Um, but it seems pretty precise, you know. It's not, it's not missing anything. Uh, so I've got this is a video I did on the iPad's gestures. Let me add that into 
let me add that into a project. Um, yeah, you can flick through the timelines pretty easily. Get to you get pretty precise control. Um, um, so yeah, you get pretty nice control over the timelines. Um, you can get it pretty exact. So that's quite nice if you want to use it for editing that kind of stuff. What else? Um, um, selecting text. So yeah, you can tap and hold. And look, you can grab. You know, it's pretty precise. Um, so yeah, general use. It seems to be as pretty as good as the pencil really. Um, so yeah, I'm actually really happy with this, especially yeah, like I said, for the price. So thirty six ninety nine compared to one hundred nineteen ninety nine. Um, to me, it's a no-brainer. Unless you're a serious artist who's doing a lot of drawing on this, um, then you might miss features like the pressure sensitivity, that kind of stuff. But if you just if you just want it for casual note taking, uh, which is probably what I'll use it for mainly, I'm pretty happy with it. But yeah, it's a thumbs up from me. Um, any comments, questions? Let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.